Hello everyone, it is Night Dagger, and I am back with a very short educational video on Minecraft. Um, you can currently see I am not playing Skyblock Modded. I'm actually playing Terraformacraft by Biox. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a follower of a bunch of other channels on YouTube, and I am proud to count myself among the nearby nation. Uh, one of the channels I follow is Nearby Gamer. He does a lot of gameplay videos, mostly Minecraft, but some other games as well. Right now he's currently playing Terraformacraft, but he is having a bit of trouble finding ore in his world. So, I noticed that he isn't really using the Prospector's Pick to its fullest potential, if at all. I haven't seen him use it at all yet. So, um, nearby, this is for you and your viewers. I'm going to show you guys how to use the Prospector's Pick to locate ore in Terraformacraft. You can see I did NEI myself some blue steel tools here, uh, rather than poking around with stone tools making you guys watch while I mine through stone forever. A um, couple things to get started here. Number one, you notice I don't have any support beams. There's a mining trick that you can use that will eliminate any sort of cave-ins. If you mine from the top block down, like this one and then this one, you will never trigger a cave-in doing that. If you mine the other way, like if you start mining this one and then this one, that could potentially cause a cave-in. That is bad. So, top, bottom, top, bottom. You'll never cause cave-in that way. Number two, you notice I am currently at the junction between two different ore layer or two different stone layers. This is where ore likes to spawn. It doesn't really like to spawn in the middle of layers, so if you dig up here, you might find some stuff, but most of the ores are generally going to spawn in between the junction of two layers. So this is the best place to look. Number three, this type of stone that I'm looking at here is granite. You may as well go hunting for your early ores in granite if you can find it, because granite is your only source of cassiterite, which gives you tin. Now tin is going to be required in your game at some point eventually anyway, because you're going to need it to make bronze. Bronze is required wired to make the bronze anvil, which is required to start working with wrought iron ingots. So you will have to have bronze at some point. You must find tin in order to get to the Iron Age. So may as well go find it early. Cassiterite melts over a fire. You don't have to have a bloomery to make it, so it's a great source of early tools for you. You're going to need it anyway. You may as well go hunting in granite. So this thing is your best friend. What this does is when you click on a block, it scans the area around you, 13 vertical, 25 on each horizontal axis, and will tell you maybe, possibly, one type of ore that's in that, blair, in that area and how much of it was in that area. So you can get anything from nothing of interest found to traces, small, medium, large, or very large samples of various ores. So. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the floor. I usually click on the floor to start, just it's personal preference. It does not matter where you click. So, found nothing of interest. Very large sample of bismuthonite. Nothing of interest. Large sample of bismuthonite. More large samples. Check up here. Large sample of cassiterite. Very large sample of cassiterite. That's a good sign. This here was a large sample. This here is a very large sample. So, what we're going to do is we are going to pillar up just a little bit. That was our large sample. Traces. So the vertical axis of this thing covers 13 squares. So from here down, split the difference, you get 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, never dig straight down, 7. If we are going to find the cassiterite, it's probably going to be somewhere on the layer we are standing on now. Now, we're going to pick a direction, split the difference, we're going to dig 13 blocks. Okay, this is 13 blocks in this direction. 
I'm going to take out the prospector's pick, and we're going to start clicking again. A very large sample of castorite is close by. So we're going to keep going back this way. We're going to see if we can get that very large sample to taper down. A large sample. Medium sample. Now, what this is telling us is it's, it is telling us we are going in the wrong direction. However, this is a good thing. It's going to help us narrow down where it starts at. Traces is what we're after. If we can find traces, that's good. Medium. Still medium zombies nearby. Medium. Hello zombies. Still medium. Okay. Well, we ran out of room in that direction. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go this way a little bit. We may get lucky and just run right into the cassette, right? You never know. I actually want to have the torch marking the wall where we end the 13th. Okay, we're finding native copper, large sample of cassiterite. So, split the difference between those. It's probably somewhere right around here. We're going to pick the other direction. We're going to start digging. Again, 13 blocks. Now, the prospector's pick is not an exact tool. It gives you an idea of what's there. It gives you an idea of what's close to you, and you can kind of use this triangulation technique to close in on it, but it's not going to outright say, hey, you idiot, you're standing on top of Cassiterite. It's an acquired skill, and it does take some practice to get good at using this. So, medium sample of Cassiterite right there. Traces. One. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Somewhere on this axis should be where that catheter is. So we're going to dig around a little bit. Here it is. There is your lovely Cassiterite. And since there was a very large sample, there's going to be a lot of it here. So this is where you do the yay we found ore dance. Break out your picks. Break several dozen picks mining the stuff out of the wall. Take it back up, smelt it over your fire pit, and graduate from the Stone Age into the Age of Metal. So, hopefully, that didn't confuse you too much. Just to recap, start between two layers. Granite and something else is best early game because you want tin. You have to have tin. Tin is your lifeblood. Check the stone around you. When you find the ore that you're after, pick a direction and go 13 that way. Check the walls, check the floors. You're looking for traces of that ore. Once you find traces, you know it's on the very edge of your detection range, which means about 13 blocks back the way you came. You're locked onto one axis. Head 13 in the other direction. Keep sniffing on the walls. When you find traces that way, 13 back in the other direction. Check the vertical, and some combination of that, and you should find what you're looking for. So. 
hopefully nearby. This will give you and all of the other nerbs out there a little bit of a heads up on how to find ore in this mod. It's a great mod, but it does definitely make things a lot more challenging. This thing, however, this thing is worth its weight in gold. So, quite literally, it's worth its weight in gold because it'll help you find gold too. Um, anyway, I have rambled on long enough. This has been Night Dagger with a short demo on how to find ore in Terraformercraft. Um, hope this was of some use to you guys, and catch you around.